Hello and welcome back. And you know what's happening. I'm re-recording this puzzle because somehow I didn't manage to record the grid. So a word of warning, when I hit the next kind of button, uh, you will see a solved grid. And then I'm going to restart the clock and hopefully it's not going to take me as long as it did the first time. So it was 18 minutes, 50 seconds. Given I've already solved it, I'm hoping that this will be a relatively smooth solve. Anyway, as cautioned, look away now because you will see a solve grid in a second. Right, uh, memory of this puzzle, which to be fair, I say memory, it was only like a few hours ago, is that it is very much about the skyscraper rule. You've got a couple of cages that will help you with the skyscraper, but it's entirely about skyscrapers. Anyway, I'm going to restart the clock and show you how to solve this. Uh, the way I illustrated this first time round is to think around what a seven skyscraper clue means. What it really means is that at most, there are two cells that you cannot see from the clues kind of direction. So it will immediately limit how big any of these cells can possibly be, well, all the way until the seventh one, just purely because of that seven clue. So to illustrate this, if this is a, that's the wrong cell, this is a four, well, it doesn't matter if I go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's only six cells. So really, every single one of these, you can essentially highlight as is one, two, or three. The very next cell, well, that's going to be one, two, three. You can absolutely have, remember, a hidden cell. So there can be a one in the second position. And you can basically repeat this a few times to get to sort of essentially kind of the next deduction. But between row four and column four, there's already a bunch of things that we can deduce, such as how am I going to get to seven in these two cells? Well, it can only be the four and the three. That's our break-in. Now, we also now know that the one and two, because we're starting off at three, are the only two cells that are not visible. All the remaining other digits have to be in order. Otherwise, you're not going to get to the seven skyscraper clue. So let's think about seven, eight, and nine for a second. So I could do five, six, seven technically, but eight and nine absolutely have to be down here. Tricky part with this one is that the eight could technically be, actually, no, it can't be, although this seven could be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That eight is too close here. Eight can only be in the sixth position away. So again, eight and nine are in here. And therefore, eight and nine, we end up with an eight, nine pair because clearly they're not going to be inside the seven cage accompanied with a minus one or a minus two. Uh, if this is one, two, or three, this is clearly four, five, or six. It's sometimes helpful with skyscrapers to actually highlight the ones that are not going to be visible. Regardless of how big this cell is, there's at least a nine above it. So it's always going to hide whatever's in here. In fact, the nine has to be in one of these two cells. So this is one of my hidden clues. Uh, no threes in here. Remember, this is again another one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. So we may as well sort of get all the way to here. There is no way that this is going to be a nine because that would only be six that are visible. So that has to be the eight. That has to be the nine. This is the nine. Then we have two cells that are clearly going to be hidden behind the eight. So these are the gray cells. Although bear in mind that's gray horizontally not gray vertically, so just careful how you interpret these. Right, um, because these two are hidden, I'm almost confident the seven has to be here because if the seven is there, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six only. So yeah, that's seven. Now the six doesn't have to be here because technically the six could be in these two cells. The seven couldn't have been obviously because that would be accompanied with zero, which is not an available digit. Right. Uh, let's keep going. What else do I see? So I'm just cleaning up all of this mess. This is just too much. Is it too much? Uh, maybe not. Um, right. Let's think about what these cells are. So these four cells are essentially one, two, five, and six. But the five has to precede the six so that it is visible. It can't be hidden by the six. So the six can't be here. The five cannot be there. This is one, six, or five to get us to seven. Can't have 
a 3-4 pair hidden in here. So that's a 3-4 pair for the 7. And this cell is another 1, 2, 5, 6. It's not these, it's this cell. So that's 1, 2, and 5. Um, where do I go from here? Now remember, this has to be ascending. Because the hidden two cells in row 4 are in here. So this, there's no way this could be 1 or 2. Because then it would be hidden by whatever is in there. And I would have three hidden cells. I'm not going to get to seven. So this is five or six. Okay, and this is lower. Um, and obviously, because it's ascending, I can actually do the following. Three, four, five. This is not four because it's already in there. Right, and then I remember some trickery with this seven cage. So the way to think about a two cell seven cage is it's going to be made up of a one, two, three pair and a four, five, six pair. Yes. So if I place a three in here, this would force a two, force a one, and then I can't possibly get to a seven in here. So I can remove the three. Likewise, if I make this four, five, and six, I've eliminated kind of the higher digit, and I'm not going to get to seven either. So that can't be four, that can't be three, we end up with a 1-2 pair. I can clean these up. That's not going to be a 4 anymore. That's a 3. That's not 3. That's 4 or 5. Lovely. Okay. Um, let me remove these before I do something silly with them. Yeah, okay, 9. Can't have a 9 in the 6th position. That's a 9. I can have an 8 technically in here, so I don't actually know anything about the 8s and 7s. So 9 has to be one of these three cells. Remember what I said in column 4, that this has to be ascending and the hidden two cells are 1 and 2. Well, I can't have the 8 behind the 9. I can't have the 9 in front of the 8. So 9 is restricted as such at the moment. This cell is hidden. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Right. 9 can't be there anymore. And the reason I say that with such confidence is if I put a 9 in here, best case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 because this cell is clearly hidden behind the 4 and 5. So that's not a 9. The 9s now line up in rows 8 and 9. So that's not a 9. That is a 9. And that is the second hidden cell for this clue in column 7. And therefore, everything else in here has to be ascending. It absolutely has to be. So this is, well, actually, it's a 2. Because it's not 3 or 4. So remember, this is kind of the full pencil mark. But remember, because it's ascending, that can't be a 1, otherwise it would be hidden. And then I remove the 3 and 4. Well, that's a 2 now. So that's 2. Hang on, I didn't mean to do that. 2, 1, 2, 1. 1 means no 1, 6 in here. So that's definitely a 6. The 5 had to precede the 6, so that's got to be a 5. This is not a 5, 6 pair now. This is my 5. 1, 2 would require 5, 6 in here. Excellent. Can I do anything else at the moment? Probably not. Right, let's keep going. So one, two, so obviously this could be three, four, not five, four, five, not six, and then five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. Four, five in here would require a two or three. This is now hidden in column eight. It's too small to be seen. Which tells me the nine is not here. Because, you know, I'm not going to have, that's 5, that's 6, that's not going to work. So 9 is down there. And 8, which was up here, can't be either. Because that's inside a 7 cage. I, I sort of somehow missed this. So 8 is in one of these three cells. Mm, I could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Technically, I could hide the 8 and the 9, providing that I can see whatever's in here. So can't remove the 8 from row one just yet. Right. 
Where do I go from here? I think I can now force the eight into this box because one, two, three, four, if that was eight, that would be five and then the nine would be six. So yeah, eight is down here for sure. Meaning, and remember these are, actually they don't have to be entirely ascending, do they? Because I've only got one hidden clue at the moment. One, two pair. I, I don't know how I lost the fact that this is a four, this is a three. Five gave me a four, gave me a three. I, let's just not talk about it. Two, three, four. Not a five. Yeah, this is probably deducible. So I've got one, two, three, four. So three, four, five, six, seven. The maximum here was seven. So this is six or seven. Can it be seven? Uh, same reason that the eight and nine have been bumped because I've got one that's hidden. I think I've essentially lopped off a digit off the maximum in each of these positions. So I think this is forced to be a six, but let me just prove it. One, two, three. Now, if this is seven, that'll be four, and then eight, nine. I'm only highlighting six cells, so that's going to be a six indeed. And yes, because all the lower digits, one, two, three, four, and the five are not available, so that is definitely a six. That is not five or six, that is a seven. That is not a seven. Well, that has to be visible because I've got my two hidden digits down here, so that's going to be eight. This is still four or five, so it's not resolved. However, this is four, five, or six, because it gives me a triple in here with a definite six. Now, the rest of this mess, well, the seven is not here. That's the seven. That six gave me a five, had I paid attention earlier. That's one. And then I have no clue. Actually, the five gave me a four, which means that this is a five, two, and therefore this is a three, and this is a two, eight pair. This is one, six, three, four. And over here, so this is five, eight, nine. I'm just gonna fully pencil mark it. Now we've established that the eight has to be visible. So the hidden digit is the five. Yes, because it's hidden by the seven. So the eight has to be visible and then the nine has to be the last piece. So that can't be a nine, obviously. And this is five, eight. This could be any of them. That could be nine, that could be eight. That could be five, that could be eight, that could be nine. So can't resolve it from here. But in general, we kind of got our money's worth from this clue. We've also got our money's worth from this. We basically solved it. Um, the same, actually, hang on, let me think about this. So these are seven, eight, nine. And they have to be in order, of course, because the one and two are the hidden digits. So that's seven, that's eight, that's nine. That nine gave me a five in here. Therefore, this is nine, this is eight. Lovely. And this seven clue is done. I'm going to say this seven clue is done. So I've only got these two down here now to think about. The fact that this is a seven, and this feels like it's going to be hidden. Yeah. One, two, three, actually, no, it doesn't have to be. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Um, I can actually get away with it. And then have, no, but that doesn't work. If I go for one, two, three, four, five, that I've already got, well, if I hide the eight, I can. Now, if I put a nine in here and then have one, two, three, four, I, that would be fine. Right, um, I need to look elsewhere. That's not a five, that's not a two. So this clue is definitely hidden. The three or four is too small to be in the fifth position. So that's hidden. So that's my two hidden digits, which means this needs to be visible. So that's definitely a six, not a one. And therefore these have to be ascending don't know why I changed colors there, have to be ascending heading towards the six. And then because the rest has to be visible, this has to be seven, eight, nine in order. That's not a nine, that's not an eight. I don't know what's going on with seven, we'll ignore it for now. 
Now, I think that also forces this to be five, doesn't it? Because where else is going to is five going to be? Yep, that's the five. This will have to be three, four. This has to be the one. And that's now this clue solved, which also, of course, gives me this six, this four, this three, this four, this three. Lovely. No one in here. That's huge. So the, the earlier example of one, two, three, four, that's not possible. The one in this seven in column five is definitely hidden. So the one is hidden. So this is essentially from two, three. This is from three, four, five. Yeah, this is the hidden clue. Because, all right, let's fully pencil mark it. Three, four, and five can't be here. This is one or two. So this is one of my hidden digits. Again, I change colors. This, therefore, You see, if I place a six up here, I'd end up with one, two. Now, where am I going with this? Let, let's pencil mark. Let's see if we can resolve it this way. So obviously this could be one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Yeah, that can't be any higher. It can't be a six. So that's not a five because you know we've got them in the row in the column. Six is up here. So this is now a six, eight, nine triple, not a nine, not an eight. The fact that the nine is not at the top tells me that one of these three has to be hidden because this is a six or eight hidden by a nine in front of it. So I can't afford any more hidden digits. And therefore, this has to be the four, this has to be the three, this has to be the two, this has to be the one. And then the nine has to be in behind the eight. So that's got to be the eight, that's got to be the nine, that's got to be the six. And that's all of my skyscraper clues done. And from here, technically, it's just a bunch of Sudoku. I'm actually still on track for roughly the same solve. So... I'm clearly no smarter for the fact that I solved this a few hours earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six. In here I need two, seven, and eight. Two, eight, seven. I need four, five, six. That's four, five, six. In here I need one and seven. Two and six, I'm going to say. One and four. That's how did I manage? No, no ones in here. What is it? Three. Three, seven, two, six, and two, eight. Okay. So one I should be able to place. One, two, three, four. This I can place. That's nine. Uh, then I need five, six, seven, eight. Where is five? Eight, which gives me two, six, two, eight, seven. And if I've not made any mistakes, six for the finish. Uh, still a phenomenal puzzle second time round. Very much about skyscrapers as demonstrated here. And uh, sorry about the mess up with the recording the first time round. Hope you guys enjoyed, well, the second video. And I'll see you back soon. Bye-bye for now.